Hey guys, it's Crystal with Pure, and just really fast, I wanted to share a tip with Camera Raw that I don't know if many people know exists or know how to use it and how it can actually really benefit them. And I figured I would do a quick video on this. So in Camera Raw, you, especially if you shoot weddings, you want to make sure that your dress is white. Or if you, in this instance, are shooting these girls, and they're all wearing white dresses, you want to make sure that it is actually a white dress. It was not an ivory dress, and so I want to make sure that these dresses are white. And I can just tell by looking at these images, at this, at this image, that these dresses are not actually white. This one in particular is worse than these other ones. But there is a way to find out what the problem is in those dresses. And so if you come up here, you have these different tools. You have your zoom and your hand tool, and then you have your white balance tool. So your white balance tool, you can just select an area on a dress that's white and it will change the white balance. However, it changes it to what it thinks it should be. So I love this color sampler tool. It is one of my favorite tools in Photoshop ACR in Camera Raw that I don't know if many people know how to use. So if you click this, you can click an area of the photo that is supposed to be neutral, like a white or 50% gray. I typically use this with wedding dresses. And if I come over here and click this, it's going to show me the values of where I clicked. And so you have your red, green, and blue. And so here I see that my red is 217, my green is 223, and my blue is 229. So what this is telling me is that I have a significant amount of blue over red, and I have even, I have green over red also. So what you want to do is try to get these numbers as close to possible. And the nice thing is, is I can also select multiple dresses. So I can select here and I can select here. So I can see the three different settings and it's got the numbers and it's got the numbers up here. So here on dress number two, I can see this 221 all the way up to 233. So again, a significant difference in, in the, between red and blue. And in dress number three, again 220 to 231 and so I want to get those numbers as close to possible so this dress is neutral white and there's no color cast in it and so as I edit this image now that I've got these sample sample colors chosen it will also change these numbers as I edit the image and so if I raise the exposure some you're gonna see that that helped bridge some of that gap here on dress number three, it went, it's now 235 to 241. And so it's only got a six, it's only got a six number difference between the red and the blue, where I think before it was almost 13. And again, dress number two, it's only got a seven number difference between red and blue, which again, it was much higher. And with dress number one, it's got an eight number difference. And so now I need to adjust the white balance. So as I adjust the white balance, I can drag the slide, slider over. And now if I'm looking at dress number three, which is this right here, right? 238, 239, 238. And I may just add a little bit more magenta, maybe to like a six or so, to eight. And look at dress number three now. It's 238, 239, 239. That's Perfect. Dress number two, 239, 240, 240. Perfect. Dress number one, 236, 237, 237. And let me just show you the before and after. Come on. Come on up. Here's what we started with, and here's what we ended with. And look at the white balance on those dresses. Look at this dress in particular, over here to over here. There's not that color cast. And this, and this also tells me that these dresses are not blown. There is still detail in these dresses. The number's not 255 or higher. And the colors, there's no color cast in those dresses. The dresses are pure white as they were when I saw them in person. And so again, now I can clear the samples and everything's done. I don't have to look at those numbers forever. And I feel like I now have a proper white balance for those dresses and everything else in the photo I feel is proper. Her hair colors are, are what they were in person. These colors are what they were in person. So I feel much better about 
the white balance of this photo. So if you have any questions, let me know. But this is a super cool trick that I don't know if many people know. And it will come in handy, especially if you are a wedding photographer. So thanks for listening. Have a great day.